Looking for a great gadget? Our selection of the latest gadget reviews will help you find the ideal drones, GPS devices, toys and more. Also the latest reviews on laptop, mobile phone reviews, tablets, cameras and other gadgets reviews. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Huawei Mate 30 Pro release date, price and features. Everything you need to know about the new Mate 30 phones. The Mate 30 Pro has been officially announced, and it's arrived alongside the Mate 30. The Mate 30 Pro which is the more interesting of the pair, boasting a higher resolution display, bigger battery and more advanced camera features. In total Huawei announced four new smartphones at today's launch event in Munich, with the Mate 30 and Mate 30 Pro joined by the pricier Mate 35G and the exceedingly expensive Porsche design Mate 30 RS. We've got a rundown of all four new Mate 30 flagships right here, and we've had some hands-on time with the Mate 30 and Mate 30 Pro. Huawei has now confirmed that none of these handsets come with Google services, that's apps like YouTube, Gmail and the Google Play Store, on board thanks to the ongoing Huawei ban. That means you won't be able to download a variety of third-party services to these smartphones, and instead you'll be limited to the Huawei App Store. It's not yet clear which regions the Mate 30 phones will be available in, we expect them to be available in some European countries, but we pretty much write off any hopes of a US release. We're still waiting for Huawei to announce the Mate 30 Pro release date, but we'll update this video as soon as we know more. Huawei CEO has told those at the launch that the phone may still come to the UK, but it's still uncertain whether that will happen and if it does when. The Mate 30 price is $880 which gets you 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. If you fancy more storage space and slightly more premium features, the Mate 30 Pro price is $1200 which gets you 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. Both of those devices only have 4G connectivity, so if you want a handset that can connect to the new 5G networks you'll need the Mate 30 Pro 5G, which costs $1,300 and again gives you 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. For those of you with a little more money than sense, you can treat yourself to the Porsche Design Mate 30 RS which will set you back the princely sum of $2,300 but you do at least get 12GB of RAM and 512GB of storage for your significant outlay. The Mate 30 Pro has a large, 6.53-inch curved OLED display which Huawei calls its Horizon Display, offering an ultimate viewing experience. At its edges, the screen curves at an 88-degree angle. It has a resolution of 2400 by 1176, an 18.4, 9 aspect ratio and support for HDR. Inside the notch there's a new gesture sensor, along with two 3D depth cameras and a selfie camera. There's no visible earpiece on the front of the Mate 30 Pro, with the speaker built into the display, and there isn't a volume button on the side of the handset, instead the volume is controlled by tapping then sliding your finger along the curved side of the screen. The Mate 30 has a larger 6.62-inch display, but with a lower 2340 by 1080 resolution and a 19.5-9 aspect ratio, plus a smaller 26.2mm wide notch. The Mate 30 will also be available in four colors, with a glass finish, classic black, space silver, cosmic purple and emerald green, and it will also be available in the two vegan leather options. It's IP53 dust and water resistant. Huawei went to great lengths on stage to explain just how compact its new flagships are, even though they have large screens, and it claims this makes the handsets easier to hold in one hand. The new phones are effectively all screen, there's some bezel at the top and bottom, and on the sides of the Mate 30, but it's minimized to the point of being non-existent. The Mate 30 rear camera setup comprises a 1.6 MP f 2.2 ultra wide camera, 4.0 MP f 1.8 super sensing wide camera, 8 MP f 2.4 telephoto and focus assist laser. The Mate 30 Pro has a more advanced system, with four rear cameras which have been engineered in partnership with camera brand Leica. There's a 4.0 MP ultra wide Cine camera, 4.0 MP super sensing wide camera, 8 MP telephoto lens and a 3D depth sensing camera. The Mate 30 Pro is a serious video recording machine too. There's support for 4K HDR plus 60fps capture, 7680fps ultra slow motion, real-time bokeh video, 4K time lapse and low light capture. Round the back, Huawei has changed the shape of its camera setup, with a large circular bump housing four sensors. 
The Mate 30 Pro has IP68 dust and water resistance, and will be available in four colors, classic black, space silver, cosmic purple and emerald green. If those colors, or the glass finish they come in, don't take your fancy the Mate 30 Pro also comes in a vegan leather edition, with two color choices, orange and forest green. Both the Huawei Mate 30 Pro and Mate 30 pack in the flagship Kirin 990 chipset, which in the 30 Pro 5G also features a 5G modem. Huawei is promising that groundbreaking 5G speeds will be possible with the Mate 30 Pro 5G, although we'll have to wait to get our hands on review units to see if they can live up to those claims. There's dual SIM support, with both SIM cards able to support a 5G connection at the same time. The Kirin 990 chip provides improvements in CPU performance, latency and GPU performance over the previous model. The Mate 30 Pro comes with a 4500 mAh battery, while the Mate 30 gets a 4200 mAh power pack. Both phones support super-fast 40W wired charging, and 27W fast wireless charging. Huawei has also doubled the speed of its reverse wireless charging, which allows you to use the Mate 30 as a wireless charging pad for other devices. When it comes to the interface the Mate 30 and 30 Pro come with the firm's EMUI 10 interface which features its own dark mode, new animations and fresh color themes. EMUI 10 supports an always-on display which can show you the time, date, battery and notifications, and it's not just a black and white display, with a variety of color and design options on offer. Before we dig into further leaks and rumors, it's important to address the fact the Mate 30 and Mate 30 Pro are unlikely to come with access to Google's services. That's likely to be a big problem for some users. Analyst Dominic Sunabo, Director of Consumer Insights at Kantar, told us, if the Mate 30 does release without access to key Google apps, like Maps and YouTube, it will struggle to sell in any meaningful volumes across Europe. Google Apps are bread and butter for the majority of users and not having access is a risk few will be willing to take. Suinebo continued, Huawei has the scale and expertise to bring out an operating system capable of competing with Android from an interface and efficiency point of view, but without key Google Apps it will not be a viable solution in Europe. Our closest look at the likely Mate 30 Pro design comes from leaked renders, showing a circular camera block and a curved screen with a notch. The standard Mate 30 has also been leaked with a similar design, but a smaller notch and a flat screen. We've also seen a shot of the Mate 30 Porsche design, which trades a glass back for a leather one and has a different camera arrangement, but otherwise looks similar to the leaked Mate 30 Pro. An image of a leather-backed case with a strap for this model has also leaked. Then there's the Mate 30 Lite, which has a punch-hole camera rather than a notch, and the rear snappers aren't arranged in a circle. Specs alongside these images suggest that the Huawei Mate 30 Pro will have a Kirin 990 chipset, a 6.7-inch screen and a 4000 mAh battery. We've seen a similar design previously, as a leaked render shows a circle camera block with the lenses aligned in an X shape. It's a futuristic design for sure, but it's rather surprisingly large, and could be obnoxious in physical form. That circular block can be seen again in another leak, albeit without the X configuration and oddly only seemingly housing three lenses. This leak also highlights the large notch, and seems to show a headphone port on the standard Mate 30, but not on the Mate 30 Pro.